Hello, welcome to CSS Tutorials brought to you by Anpro Technologies. Myself Nirmala. In this session, we are going to learn the lesson number 5 that is CSS border properties and also a margins, paddings, height, width, and a max width. Coming to CSS border properties, CSS attribute allow you to completely customize the borders that appear around a HTML element. In HTML, we used borders only for tables. CSS border let you create crisp customized border uh, styles with a very little work. And these are the border uh, properties that is a border style, border width and a border color. We'll see one by one. That is coming to border styles, the border style property specifies what kind of border to display. These are all the border styles that is a dotted, dash, solid, double, groove and a reads, inset, outset, none and a hidden. We'll see one by one how to apply the border styles to our HTML element. Go to Visual Studio Code, save the file within a body tag. I am going to take one paragraph tag. Write the content of the paragraph. This is paragraph tag. And the for the paragraph, I'm going to write the styles P border style. Give the border style as a solid. Give a semicolon, save the file, go to file location, open the file with a browser. Here you can apply, uh, you can observe that the border, the solid border is applied to the HTML element that is a paragraph element. We can also give different borders. that is dash refresh the file you can observe you got a dash border similarly we have solid dash double groove rates all these things this is how we are giving the styles that is a different border styles this is a class and a border style dotted border style uh, colon dash it solid double grew ridge these are the different border styles available in a CSS and this is how it displays this is a dotted border and a dash border inside inset outset no border and a hidden border a mixed borders you can also give a mixed borders if I give the four properties like solid dash double and a group save the file go to browser refresh the browser here you can observe the different borders are applied to the different sides of the border that is four side with the four different styles this is how we are giving the mixed borders in case if I give only two parameters like solid and a dash the first parameter refers to the top and the bottom of the border and this is for the left and the right save the file go to browser refresh here you can observe the solid for the top and bottom and the dash for the left and the right this is how we are giving the mixed borders to our HTML elements and next we have a border color we can also apply a border color using a property called border color red border iPhone color you can give any color go to browser refresh the browser here you can observe the border color is red and next we have a sh shortened property that is you can also give the width that is border 
width that is 5 pixels save the file refresh the file you can observe the border width is 5 pixel instead of writing the code three times I can give the shortened property that is border 5 pixel solid red the border is a property and the 5 pixel is an uh, width and coming to solid is a border style and a red is a border color instead of giving three lines of code you can write a shortened property that is border colon 5 pixel solid red save the file go to browser refresh the browser here you can observe the border styles that is the shortened property is applied for the border that is 5 pixels of width and the solid uh, style that is a border style is solid and the border width is 5 pixels this is how we are giving the shortened property and next we have a margin a margin defines a white space around a HTML element border CSS has a properties for specifying the margin that is we can give the sub, uh, different uh, types of margins that is margin top right bottom and a left we will see one by one for the paragraph tag I am writing the margin margin top 5 pixel it will give the white space between uh, at the top 5 pixels if I give margin top 15 pixels save the file go to browser refresh here you can observe the 15 pixel margin fr from the top you can also give the margin left margin right and a margin bottom these are all the different types how can be apply for the margins and you can also give the margin values as a auto or a length length may be a pixels points or a centimeters etc or you can also specify the margin value with a percentage and you can also inherit the uh, values and next we have a CSS padding a padding is a space between an element border and the content within, a, uh, within it that is this is the syntax for this padding 5 pixels for this also you can give the padding with a length or a auto or with a percentage padding 5 pixels it gives the space between the border and the text here you can observe the space between the border and the text that is a 5 pixels you can also give the padding for the different sides that is a padding top left right bottom and on the uh, top all the four sides now I'm going to specify padding left 15 pixel save the file go to browser refresh the browser here you can observe the padding from the left itself 15 pixels same thing you can give the padding uh, value within the length that is pixels or a points or a centimeters or you can also give the uh, give it in a percentages and next we have a CSS height and width you can also set the height and width of the uh, elements that is paragraph height twenty pixels width two hundred pixels save the file go to browser refresh the browser here you can observe the height and width of the element 
and you can also specify the max width with the max width property this is how we are applying the CSS property to our HTML element finally thank you for listening please subscribe to our youtube channel and pro training you can also refer our website by visiting these urls we are also on twitter for more references please refer our websites we are also on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day